Mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, I'll be. That entire time, I was on this live a few minutes ago for 30 minutes. 30 something minutes. Over 30 minutes. And the entire time, the camera was sideways. Can y'all believe that? Mm, mm, mm. Unreal. Anyway, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And um, <laughs> where do I start? Because I just, I literally just finished. That's why, you know what? Now that I see the camera <sighs> the right way, before when it was sideways, it was four people watching. And I was thinking that those were four likes. And I, I made a statement about people taking back their likes, but that wasn't the case. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I was on here a few minutes ago, literally about a minute ago. So I would say a few seconds ago. And I did a whole 30 minute video showing everyone that was watching how I seasoned my red snapper fish and everything. So the fish is already seasoned. I'm going to show you guys what the fish look like. Tell you what I seasoned it with and how I seasoned it. And then we're going to carry on. I'll be right back. So this is the fish. I got red snapper. Right? So it's the whole fish. The first thing that I did with the fish was cut it. I made four slits on the fish. One, two, three. Um, was it four? No, it was three. I made three slits on the fish on each side. That was the first thing that I did, right? After that, I seasoned my fish. Oh, first of all, you know, I am like really all over the place. I didn't even introduce myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Letitia. Welcome to Let's Vlog and Cook. Okay. I have another channel, which is my main channel that I used to cook on all the time, but I decided that I'm not going to cook over there anymore. I'm going to cook on this channel. So those of you that are used to watching me go live cooking on my other channel. You can now come over here on this channel and watch me cook live, watch me vlog live, or um, I'll be doing pre-recorded videos over here of me cooking, vlogging, just anything and everything will be on this channel. My main channel, which is Letitia Campbell, um, on that channel, I am going to be switching up the content very soon, and I have a video coming out soon that's going to be explaining that, and I'm going to leave that right there. But what I seasoned my fish with, let me get back to that, is garlic powder, lots of garlic powder. If you had to measure how much garlic powder I put on this, I would say about four tablespoons, right? Um, I did the garlic powder, I did some Creole, I did some Old Bay. I put some oregano and I also put black pepper. And then I topped it off by squeezing a half of a lemon on top of my fish. Now, when I seasoned my fish, I seasoned the outside first on both sides, right? Then each spice that I seasoned it with, I took it and I seasoned the inside where all the slits are that I made on the fish. Then I opened the fish's body, the fish body up, and I seasoned the inside of the fish body, right? So I did that, there's that. Then what I did was I cut up some peppers, green, red, yellow, and then I also cut up a half onion. So it's, it's a half of a green pepper, half a red pepper, half a yellow pepper, and not even a half an onion, it's probably like a quarter of an onion. And I have four garlic cloves inside of this shot glass right here. Yep, it's a shot glass. Don't judge me. <laughs> Did that. 
now what I'm getting ready to do is um, cut up these three pieces of garlic cloves and this, um, what is this, a ginger, because I'm going to be also making some bok choy. Okay, so that's a recap of what was going on on the last video in a nutshell. Now we're back. So let's start off first with me rinsing off my garlic and um, ginger. I'm going to take my garlic and give it a little nice little smash. Nice little smash. Ooh, yeah. Nice little smash. Mm -hmm. Once you give it a nice smash, you can just cut it up so easily. And they say that when you when you smash it like that, it also um, the flavor comes out more. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I heard. Yeah, so we're just gonna cut this up. All I know is that when I smash it, it it allows me to cut the garlic up very easily. Okay, so we're gonna cut this up really good. How many people watching this video right now has taste Red Snapper before? Um, and have you ever cooked Red Snapper? And if you did taste it, where did you taste it? Who cooked it? Most of the time, Red Snapper is going to be cooked by people from the Caribbean islands, African people. Those are the people that usually cook Red Snapper. I'm not saying that other nationalities don't cook Red Snapper because we do, obviously. I'm cooking it and I'm not neither one of those nationalities. I'm American. But for the most part, from what I see, when it comes to Red Snapper, mostly people from the Caribbean islands, West Indies, and people from different parts of Africa, they're the ones that cook this fish for the most part. All right, so this is fresh garlic. This garlic is all nice and chopped up. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and put it Combine it with this one because I wasn't I wasn't going to combine it because I'm using some some of this garlic for the fish and some of it for the red snapper. I'll just have to eyeball it to see how much to use for each. That's all. It'll be just fine. It'd be just fine. So this is a total of seven garlic cloves, but for the fish, um, I would recommend four. Four garlic cloves. All right. So we got our fish. The first thing I'm gonna do is get my pan. Now, this is the biggest pan that I have, you guys. If you all have a bigger pan, I didn't realize that this fish was gonna be this much bigger than the pan before I bought it, obviously. Usually when I buy my red snapper, I'll buy it from the grocery store in the frozen section. And the pieces don't normally be this big. But I got this piece from the fish market and it had a bunch of big pieces of fish. And I wanted a big piece, so I decided to just go ahead and go with it. I mean, we're going to make it do what it do. Okay. So get you a nice big size pan or a pan that is going to fit whatever size red snapper you decide to get when you try this recipe, right? We're going to put it on fire. We're going to put it on a medium heat. And I'm looking for some olive oil. Oh, I got some olive oil here. Y'all like my t-shirt? Yum, yum, eat them up. Everybody say yum, yum. Say yum, yum, eat them up. 
So, and you don't want to put, you just want to put enough in the pan to basically cover the pan. Let me, can y'all see it? It's not a lot. Just enough to basically cover the pan. Because the main reason for me using the pan and putting it in, putting it, I'm um, frying the fish first is just really to brown it, not so much to cook it. I just want to brown it inside of the pan first, okay? So we're going to um, brown it inside the pan. But before I do that, I'm going to take some of the garlic and put it inside inside of the fish inside the slits of the fish so i'm gonna put some garlic in each of this each parts of the slit okay each part then turn it around put the other side Everybody say, I love me some garlic. I love it. I love it. I love me some garlic. Ooh, yeah. Can y'all believe I paid $20 for this piece of fish? This one piece of fish was $20. But I wanted it so bad that I was like, you know what? Bump it. I'm just going to go ahead and pay this $20 for it. I wanted it really bad. And I wanted to do this video really bad for you guys. So I just I just said, bump it. And we're just going to do a live red snapper cooking video. I hope y'all appreciate this, this video. Shoot. You shitting me? <laughs> Okay, let me rinse my hands off. Oh, guys, I forgot to um cut up that red snapper. Not the red snapper, that um piece of ginger. Y'all heard me? I thought I forgot to cut up the red snapper. Did y'all hear that? That piece of ginger. Let me cut that piece of ginger up. Okay, my olive oil is still heating up back there. I think it's about ready though. I think it's about ready. It's about ready. So let's go ahead over here to the stove. I'm gonna bring y'all to the stove with me. So y'all can see me that fish in there. There we go. Oh, poor fish is not fitting in the whole pan, y'all. I should have cut the I should have cut the head off, but I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna leave the head on. Okay. So we're going to let that fry in the I probably should have let it heat up a little bit longer, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just turned pipe and heat up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and cut up this ginger. So the ginger is for um, my bok choy. It's for the bok choy. ginger and the garlic is going to go inside the bok choy. Here's the bok choy right here. In case some of y'all are wondering, what is bok choy? What's bok choy? That's bok choy. Yeah, so 
whoever's watching this video, if you ever want to try making this red snapper recipe, um, make sure you don't make the mistake that I made and get such a big piece of fish and you don't have the pan, a big enough pan to cook it in. But we're going to improvise over here, honey, because um, I'm cooking this fish. I don't know what you throw it. But if you do, you can always just cut the head off. I'm just choosing to leave the head on for presentation purposes because I, I don't eat the head. But for like my thumbnail picture and for presentation, I leave the head on. Somebody in the um, fish market was telling me today that they heard that the head, the eyes of the fish is good for you. What? You're not eating no eyes. Come on now, that's too much. We're already eating animals. We're going to eat their eyes too? Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Eyes will pass. I'm not eating no animals' eyes. I'm sorry. I'm not eating their intestines either, so there you have it. I don't eat chitlins either. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, so I'm cutting up my ginger really good. That fish frying now, y'all. It's frying. It's frying. Okay, so this is what I'm getting ready to do. Let me rinse this out. So you just want to put, keep your, your red snapper in the pan just long enough for it to brown on each side. Just long enough for it to brown on each side. Because remember, It's not in here for the purpose of cooking. Oh, and this is like the worst pan. You know what, y'all? Hold on. I don't, this is not right. This pan is the worst pan to use. Y'all, I'm so mad about this right now, y'all. Look at what happened to my daggone fish. Mm-mm. No. So I see what's going to have to happen here. This is not going to work. That pan right there. Oh boy, it's just messed up my whole video. This is crazy. Oh God. Ah! I'm so pissed off right now, y'all. I'm so pissed. This this just messed my whole video was messed up. I'm really pissed off right now. Can y'all believe this? Like, this, the, the meat, the skin was not supposed to be off of the fish after it came out the pan. I'm really, really upset right now. Yeah. And something told me not to use that pan because that pan, it doesn't do good with frying anything. So 
So what I'm going to do to recover I'm just going to I'm just going to bake it. I'm just going to put the fish in the oven and bake it and call it a day. That's not that's not how I wanted to cook this fish. This is not how I wanted to cook. I'm so pissed off right now, y'all. You have no idea. Like, I really, literally want to cry right now. For real. So I'm just going to put these peppers and onions inside the fish. And call it a day. And put it in the oven. I'm just going to put it in the oven and make my bok choy. And um, that's that. I feel really sad right now. Y'all don't understand. Like, I'm so pissed off with this situation right now, y'all. This is, like, so nerve-wracking to me. Like, how am I going to be on a whole live video and this happens? Anyway. I'm just gonna put the fish in the oven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the plan anyway. What I was gonna do is brown it on both sides. And then um, saute the onions and the peppers and make like a sauce out of it. And I'm still gonna make a sauce. Still gonna make a sauce. But this was not the way that I wanted to do it. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce for the um for the fish. I'm gonna cook my bok choy and while the fish is in the oven cooking. So I'm gonna put it in the oven for um, 25 minutes. Oh boy. All right, so that's that. Um, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna make the sauce for the bok choy. Hey, here for the tea. Girl, did you see what just happened to me? I. I really, really want to cry right now. Like, that pan, or I don't know, it may may have been my fault. May, maybe I should have let the grease heat up a little longer. I don't know. But I do know that that particular pan, and I should have never used the pan in the first place. I should have followed my first mind and not used that pan because... Even in the past, when I've used that pan to, like, fry stuff, it just always, um, like, the food, like, kind of, like, stick to the pan. It's just not a good pan, and I really shouldn't have used it, but it is, I mean, look, shit, it happens to the best of us. Fuck it. Anyway. It's all about, you know, we always, we all, we're going to fumble the ball. In a lot of situations, we're going to fumble the food, we're going to fumble the bag, we're going to fumble the person, we're, going, we're just going to fumble, right? But the most important thing is how you recover. So I'm going to make it up to you guys by making sure that I recover this food that I just fumbled, the fish, right? I'll make sure I recover by making this meal be the best looking meal y'all ever seen in your life. And that's that. So I got another pan that I'm going to make the sauce in. So y'all, hold on. Hold on. And y'all... Um, Let me tell y'all, right? The way I feel right now, I, I, I feel like I need a drink just to calm my nerves. But I am on a 30-day fast from drinking. 
So, therefore, I am on a natural high right now, right? But that doesn't mean that I can't still make me a cute virgin drink, which I'm going to do right now, right in front of y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all real quick. Yeah, I'm about to make me a cute little mocktail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got me a martini glass. Got some simple syrup. Some lemon juice. Here is my shaker. I got a shot glass. And I'm about to make me a good old mocktail. So, just so y'all see that there's no alcohol. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, she might have had alcohol inside that the shaker. No alcohol. Nothing's in here. I'm just gonna, gonna put some ice in it. Y'all wanna see me put some ice in it? Watch me put some ice in it. Watch me put some ice in it. First thing I'm going to do is use the simple syrup. I did like half of that. All right, simple syrup. Some lemon juice. Lemon juice. I'm going to do a full shot of lemon juice. And then I'm going to put a full shot of water. A full shot of water. So I got some water. All right. Get my shaker. And shake it up really, really good. It ain't alcohol, but. In my mind, <laughs> it's gonna calm my nerves. Mm. And voila, we have us a mocktail. Cheers. Mm, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, let me go ahead and make the sauce. You like that accent, don't you? Um, here for the tea. Let me go ahead and make the sauce, honey. Mm hmm. So, the pan back on the fire. So I have my um, fish in the oven. That's that's my recovery. But my recovery is is straight baking it instead of browning it the way that I actually wanted to do it initially. But it is what it is. So this is the pan right here that deceived me. This is the pan that deceived me, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is that same olive oil that's in this pan right here guess what i'm going to take it and pour some of it in this pan over here sure is mm -hmm. yeah so i just put a little bit of that olive oil in this pan right here yeah there it is. put that in here and then once that heats up i'm going to take my um yellow peppers Orange peppers, green peppers, and onion. I'll put it in there. And for the sauce, I'm gonna use some Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna use some hot sauce. Um, what else? What else? What else? Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, and ketchup. Catch up, everybody. How many 
many of y'all put y'all ketchup in the refrigerator or do you put your ketchup in the cabinet? Me personally, I put my ketchup in my place um, in the cabinet. But my son and them, they like to keep it inside of the refrigerator. I keep mine in the cabinet, which I'll do. All right, so we're going to take our peppers and onions and put them inside this pan. And some fresh garlic. I got some fresh garlic over here too. So we're gonna, I'm gonna use all, all of this fresh garlic that's inside of this glass. All the fresh garlic that was in there is in the Let me bring y'all over here so y'all can see what's happening. Let me bring you over. Let me bring you over so you can see what's happening. Let me bring you over. Let me bring you over so you can see what's happening. So my garlic onion and peppers i'm gonna let these saute just long enough for each item that's in this pan to get a little bit translucent then i'll start adding my sauces into the mixture I got the sauce. Some water boiling over here because I'm making some rice too. So I got some brown rice. Yeah, I'm gonna do ball in the bag, brown rice. Let's go ahead and start adding the sauces in. Got the Worcestershire sauce first. A little hot sauce. And a little ketchup. Take that and mix that all up together. And let that cook, right? Now, I'm gonna get this bok choy together. Let's start getting the bok choy together. So we got our bok choy. Everybody say yum yum. So this is the way the bok choy looks, right? Mm -hmm. First thing I'm going to do is cut this bottom part off on both pieces. Just drop the piece of bok choy on the floor, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's just all kinds of stuff happening in this video mm -hmm. right now. Today, I should say. Oh, no, it's right here. It didn't drop on the floor. It fell right here. But what I'm gonna do with this bok choy is I'm gonna clean them, rinse them off really good. One thing about bok choy is you have to be mindful of how you clean it because 
on the inside of these pieces of vegetables, they be having some real live dirt on the inside. Like for instance, you see this? You see that? That's dirt on the inside of it. So you gotta rinse them really, really good. I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. And rinse them really good. All on the inside. But that's the first piece that I rinsed out. How much sauce back there doing? Y'all doing good? You doing good sauce? I got the sauce. And for this reason, this is the reason why I like to buy the baby bok choy because the big, the regular size ones, when I tell y'all the amount of dirt that it has in it, and I don't be feeling like doing all that cleaning. Like it be so much dirt on the inside of the regular size bok choy, it's not even funny. So much dirt, it's crazy. Let's check on the source. There's the source. Okay. So that's basically the source, y'all. Let's check on the fish. See what it's doing. Let's see what the fish is doing. Can y'all see it? Put the fish back in. Now I'm going to move this pan. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do is get another pan. Let me put this. No. Another pan for the bok choy. Another pan for the bok choy. And so, again, that same oil that I was using earlier for the. Um, to brown my fish. I'm just using a little bit more of that olive oil from, from earlier. Just a little bit, not a lot. See about that much. And we're gonna let that heat up. So this is the sauce for the fish, y'all. Ooh. And those of you that's just joining in, the sauce for the fish is red, ye red yellow, green, Red, yellow, green, red, yellow, and green peppers, onions, and um, the fresh garlic. That's what I have in there for the for the um, the peppers and the onions. And then I also have some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> and some hot sauce. And I just kind of eyeballed it. I can't tell you guys. Oh, it's one cup or it's two cups or, you know, nothing like that. I just kind of eyeballed it and just squirted it in there. And whatever I felt like was enough, that, that's how much I put in there. Now, if you all want to be all precisely right with your sauce for your red snapper, you can do that. Um, I can't tell you how much to put. That's not how I cook. 
okay? Because one thing I always say is, I'm not a chef, but I can cook, okay? Okay. Ooh, y'all, I just thought about it. I'm just doing all kind of craziness on this video. I'm just going to tell y'all that right now. I wanted to use some of that fresh garlic for my bok choy, and I put it all in my sauce. You know, I'm not going to worry about the fresh garlic, y'all. I'm just going to use some garlic powder and call it a goddamn day because this video is already just tore my nerves up, made me want to get on here and act the fool crying and everything. Like, it just really irked my whole soul when that fish, I had to take it out that grease like that because the daggone skin came off in that pan. <sighs> I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep on doing what I do because at the end result mm -hmm. is going to be all good. Okay? So, like I said, I I'm just going to use garlic powder. Shoot. Fuck it. Anyway, so I'm going to take my um, ginger, my fresh ginger, and put it... Oh, I didn't even... Y'all, yeah. I'm just messing up this whole video. <laughs> Y'all, please don't just, what is going on? And I didn't have not a lick of alcohol. What is the problem? Hmm. What is the problem? I didn't turn the pan on to heat up the oil that I just put in it before I put the ginger inside the pan. Let me get some more of this mocktail. <laughs> oh gosh. Whew. Anyway. This is a mess. 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 What is this? Um, this is um a piece of that bok choy. Well, the oil is finally heating up, y'all, for the, for the um, ginger. All right. All right. Fresh ginger's in there. Put these back. I like to clean up as I go. Because... When I'm finished cooking, I just want to relax. I don't want to have to clean up the kitchen and everything like that. After I finish cooking. Let's put these back in the refrigerator. Got our fresh ginger. Now we're gonna take our bok choy and put it in here. I'm gonna season it with with some garlic powder. A lot of garlic powder. I probably put double the amount of garlic powder than I would usually use since I didn't have the fresh garlic in there. Some black pepper. And 
I'm going to put a little bit of sea salt. Garlic pepper, I mean garlic powder, black pepper, and sea salt. And I cut up some fresh ginger in the pan along with it. And you're just going to let the bok choy cook until it wilts down in the pan. And a little bit of water that was at the bottom of the bok choy, I'm going to put it inside so it can steam. Okay. My fish is still in the oven. Counter cleaned up. Move this stuff out the way. Okay. Choy. That's what it's looking like. That good old bok choy. Okay, I just had to like keep quiet so I could calm my nerves down a little bit, y'all. That's what I had to do. I had to keep quiet for a little bit so that I could calm down. So with the fish, here's the fish, here's the fish, ooh, ooh, mm -hmm. My first live cooking video. 
an epic fail. That's crazy. All right, so I'm not gonna cry the spilled milk. We're gonna get this show on the road. So we're gonna get this fish out of this pan here. Break up. This is what the fish is looking like, guys. This is what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. What's that noise? And wipe this off because presentation, presentation, presentation. Hey Michael, I fell asleep. That twenty dollar fish finally came out. No epic fail for fish. A a call will a what? A cat will eat it. <laughs> you are stupid. What's up, boy? Stop capping. You got jokes. All right. So now remember that sauce that I made. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that sauce that I made and put it on top of my fish. Ooh. Oh yeah. Put that sauce on top of the fish. Oh, yeah. Right? Like that. You said it's no epic fail. I don't think you saw what happened earlier. I don't think you saw what happened. I really don't think you saw what happened on this video earlier. I was really pissed off about that. So now I have my bok choy. Right? Yeah. We got that bok choy. Mm-hmm. We got that bok choy. Now we gotta get that rice on deck, okay? Rice on deck. What I'm talking about. Let's get this rice. Let's get this rice on deck. Um. Get ready to make the rice look real fancy. I'm gonna make up for. I'm getting ready to really make up for what happened just now. Yeah, we gotta make up for that. I gotta make up for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So for the rice, I did the ball in the bag, brown rice. All right. Oh. Uh, no, it has to be on this plate right here. I'm tripping. I probably should have put the rice on the plate first, but. I'm 
She's doing all kind of craziness on this video, y'all. This is all kind of craziness. So, I'm going to take that. All kind of craziness is happening on this video. All kind of craziness. I never, I have never done so much craziness in one video since I've been on freaking YouTube. This is absolutely preposterous. Hold on, y'all. Mm -hmm. A mess. A hot freaking mess. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this and wipe the plate out. I hope this come out right. Shit. <laughs> Y'all get the gist of Y'all see what I was trying to do. Y'all see what I was trying to do. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. This is the finished product. So, I'm gonna give it a little taste though before we get out of here because, baby, this video, this has been hell. I'm done. And I was gonna make another video today for my other channel. But the way I feel right now, I feel like I am so over videos today. This is crazy. All right, let me taste this damn food. I hope it tastes right. <laughs> you said sardines are easier to cook. <laughs> Thank you here for the tea. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> Let me pray over it real quick and then I'm gonna taste it and then I'm gonna get out of here because I am like, thank you Lord for this food, blessed the hands and prepared it may be used for the nourishment of my mind and my body in the name of Jesus. Now keep in mind, I didn't even taste the sauce after I made it, before I put it on the fish. I didn't. I didn't. So, I, I hope it tastes right. I hope it tastes right, y'all. For real. And y'all know if it don't taste right, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Like, I'm not going to lie. Mm-mm. I'm not going to lie. So, that's it. I got a piece of the fish on this fork. And the pepper. Some of the sauce is on there also, you know. Mm. Mm. Tastes pretty good. You know what? It has like a, it's a sweet and savory taste. This is good. I ain't even gonna lie. It's good. This is good. This is good. There's the fish. Let's get a little piece of rice with it. A little piece of rice. Mm hmm. A little piece of rice. Mm hmm. Mm. Let me get this bok choy. Mm hmm. Mm. That bok choy. 
Baby! Baby! I'd say I recovered well. In the end, this was a win. Mm. Y'all, this is good. This is good. I ain't even gonna hold you. But I'm being really careful about how, how much of this fish I eat. Only because when I get off this live, I'm going to replay it and do another thumbnail. <laughs> I got to make another thumbnail. And I want it to look a certain way. So that's why I'm not eating too much of it, too much of it right now. But after I take the picture of it for the new thumbnail, I'm going to tear this sucker up, y'all. I'm tearing this sucker up. And I'm trying not to eat too much of this meat because... I need it for the picture, y'all. I need it for the picture. But it's so delicious. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm It's so delicious, y'all. So delicious. No, this plate right here. This one piece of fish was $20, right? This plate could be sold in a fine restaurant for at least I say about 45 in a nice restaurant. Maybe not like fine dining, but I say about $45. Yeah, easy. Mm -hmm. Everybody say yum yum. Say yum yum, eat them up. Say yum yum. Leave me in the com leave me a comment in the comment section below and say, "Great recovery, Tish. Great recovery." Say so you did that. Nah, <laughs> nah. But this is the final look of the food. There we go. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell next to it. Comment, share, and thumbs up this video. And I promise next time, all the different things that happened on this video will not happen next time. I promise y'all, I'm going to be better prepared <laughs> so that I don't have to make the changes that I had to make today. You know, and all of that, and all of that. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. This is Bye. You said, let me be the judge. Ship me a, a piece of the fish. <laughs> Bye, guys. I don't hang up. I'm trying to get out of here.